Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways that you can send a free download file to someone when they submit their email address. So in this example, I'm going to show you how you can have a pop-up link like this when someone wants to download a file. And when they click download now, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can send someone that file. The good thing about this tutorial is not going to require any coding. All you're going to need is Elementor Pro. And if you want to help support this channel, I do have an Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description below. Let's just jump into the back end. The first thing we need to do is create this pop-up and then we can link it to this button. So the very first thing is make sure that you go underneath your templates, pop-ups. Uh, you're going to click add new and then you're going to create your pop-up. So let me open up the one that I have here and show you how I have everything set up. As you can see, this is a pretty simple contact form. I just have a two column layout. I have an image background right here. I got the header and then I just have a regular contact form. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is how easy it is to just do a simple redirect to this PDF right here. So I want to have it when the user clicks that button, they enter in their information and then they just get a link to this PDF. So what you're going to want to do is upload your file through your media library and then just copy the URL. And instead of doing an email or in addition to doing an email, you can also do a redirect. So you can just have it where the user will be redirected to this URL, which is that PDF. So now it's going to be really simple. So if I just hit update um, and then underneath your conditions, triggers, advanced rules, you can leave all this blank because we're going to tr trigger this by this button right here. So you can just hit update. And now let me go back into that Elementor page and show you how easy it is to link a pop up. Here we are on that Elementor page. And as you can see, this is just a normal button right here. And let me clear this out. So instead of having them link to a specific URL or you know a hashtag or anything like that, you can just click this button right here where the dynamic tags are. And underneath actions, you got pop-up. You're gonna wanna make sure you click that again. And underneath uh, open pop-up, you're gonna choose that and just type in the name of your pop-up. So in this case, I just called it SEO audit checklist. And that's it. Now all you have to do is hit update. So if you click download checklist, there comes our pop-up. I'll just type in my name, my email, mark at wikidesign.com. And now it's gonna automatically redirect me to that URL. So you can see right here, it's gonna redirect me to PDF and then the user can now download this. So there are some pros and cons to this approach. Um, one of the biggest problems is you're not going to be able to prevent someone from just putting in a junk email and let me tell you from experience, people are going to just put in junk emails. So you're not going to get a good, reliable list of emails. So I don't really recommend this approach in most cases. If you just want something really fast and simple, that's one of the pros is it's very easy to just set it up this way and just kind of forget about it. And another issue I have with this is Google bot is going to be able to pretty easily figure out where this PDF is. And you might get this index inside Google search. So if you don't care about that, that's fine. But if you do want to protect this, uh, one of the easiest ways I found is just to upload this PDF to something like Google Drive or Dropbox. And then instead of linking it to your WordPress PDF link right here, just link it to that Dropbox or Google Drive uh, file. And then that's going to be protected from Google bots and having it indexed inside Google. So this is something that I've had a few issues with clients where they don't want it to be indexed. And now I just tell them just upload a Dropbox and that works fine. So that's the quick and dirty way to do it. Now I'm going to show you how you can have it where the email address has to be valid and the user is going to receive that link inside their own email. So let me show you how to do that right now. In order to pull that off, we're going to go underneath your pop-up settings again, and let's get rid of this redirect that we just created. And what we could do is add this one called email to, and this is going to send a second email. So as, as you probably already know, the first email is going to go to yourself. So you have, in this case, all fields. So I'm going to be able to get the name and email from the user, but then with email too, you can send it to the user and then that's where the link's gonna be. So this is a good way to filter out all these bots and people who don't wanna put in a valid email. You can force it where the link is only going to display inside their email. So let me show you what I have set up right here. The very first one is the two, we need to put in the user email. And so in order to get this, you're gonna go back into your form and make sure that you are underneath your email tab right here and underneath advanced, this is the short code that you're going to need. So this is the short code 
when someone puts in their email address into this contact form, that value is going to be passed through this short code. So you just want to copy that, go back into your email too, and that's what we're going to put in right here. Just paste in that short code, and that's going to email the user. Next, we have the subject line, which is just what is the subject line for that email. So in this case, here's your free SEO audit checklist. So just something you know simple like that. And what we can do now is we can say something like hello, first name, or whatever their full name is inside this h2 tag so that's what we have right here we have an h2 tag hello and then this is the short code for the name so if you go back into here and the very first one is just their name and if you go underneath advanced just like the other one short code you're going to want to copy and paste this short code so this short code just like the other one is the value of when the user puts in their name this is what's getting passed through this variable through right, right through the short code so now we just have hello the short code and then you can close that tag. So if you aren't quite familiar with how this works, um, this is just using simple HTML tags uh, inside your email, because email still just kind of uses basic HTML tags, so you're kind of limited to what you can do with the layout. Just keep it really simple. We can just have a nice bolded text with their name, and then now we can just type in, click the link below to view your PDF. And then what we're gonna wanna do is do like a simple line break, so if we just do, um, bracket and BR that's going to break it inside the uh, email and then this is going to be where you just copy and paste that URL from when you upload it into WordPress this is your PDF and you just paste that in here so like I said if you want it to be a little more secure and make sure that Google doesn't crawl this PDF this is where you're going to want to drop in your Dropbox link or your Google Drive link you just paste that in right here and that's it now we're going to just hit update and I'm going to show you how this looks on the front end when someone submits it so now when someone clicks the download checklist, you can put in information right here. And let me just put in my email address, mark.wikidesign.com. And now when the user clicks this, it's going to just show the default uh, message right here. And if you aren't sure how to change this, if you go back into your pop-up settings, if you go underneath additional options right here, if you click where it says custom messages, you could turn that on. And that's where you can put a different message for your success message. So. I like to put in a, a different message just so the user knows what they're going to get. So that's how you change it right there. And if you hit update, it will update on the front end. And now let me show you how the email is going to look. So here's how the email is going to look to the end user. So it, as you can see, it just says hello. And then I just put in my first name and then I click the link below to view your PDF. And so now when the user clicks this, it opens up that PDF. So as you can see right here, they just get direct access to it. So this is the approach that I recommend because if you have a form like this on your website, a lot of people are going to submit junk emails. So this is going to eliminate that. And so they're forced to put in a real email address. So that's it for this Elementor Pro tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.